Hi, this is a quick unboxing review of the EV800 FPV goggles I just received from Bagger.com. Let's open it up and see what we're getting inside. Let's go quickly through the instruction manual and show the specifications. On the top right, you can see the channels table. The goggles feature a 5 inch screen, 40 channels receiver, and it has a built in 2000 mAh battery. The resolution of the screen is 800 by 480 pixels, which is a big improvement from the VR007. Additionally, it weighs around 374 grams. Besides the goggles themselves, we get an accessory bag. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. First of all, we're getting this cable that we can use to charge the battery with an external, external uh, power source like a LiPo charger and you're getting also this USB charger which can be used with the supplied 2 ampere hour a power outlet. In addition we're getting this RPSMA rubber ducky antenna recommend to replace with the Cloverleaf antenna which is better give you better reception. You're getting also this power plug adapter this is for the EU version and this audio jack converter. Now let's have a look at the goggles themselves. The goggles feel pretty solid, it has nice rubbery uh, feel and the build quality is much better than the VR007. Let's go through the top buttons, so we have the channel plus, band plus, menu button, we have two more channel plus and band plus buttons, power button, RPSMA female connector and a search button to find correct channel. The charging port is found on the left side. You can either charge it with the, this, char this cable which allows you to connect it to a LiPo charger or you can use the attached USB, the included, sorry, USB cable and just connect it to any power outlet and charge device. It takes around two hours to charge, uh, to fully charge the battery with the supplied USB charger. On the bottom of the goggles you can see a tripod adapter which you can use just to mount the goggles on the tripod. And a nice feature of these goggles are convertible, which means you can just open it up in this manner and you can detach the lens from the goggles and use it just as an external screen. The headphone jack is on the top right side and you can be able to use your headphones with the supplied adapter. The screen itself without the lens weighs 237 grams. This is how you attach back the screen to the lens and it weighs 406 grams. It takes about two hours to fully charge the built-in 2000 mAh battery. In order to turn on the goggles just press the power button for two seconds and you will see the screen lighting up. In order to turn off the battery you do the same way just press it for two seconds and the screen will go off. Now let's see how the goggles perform. I will connect it to my HMB-235 drone and see how it works. In order to find the correct channel, just long press the search button. You might have to do it a couple of times because it won't be find the correct channel on the first time. You can't use the goggles while wearing eyeglasses, however my prescription power is about minus 1.5 and I don't have any problem using the goggles without wearing any glasses. I think on the next version Ishin should add a bit of cushioning because it can get a bit stiff while wearing the goggles for a long period of time. Here is a quick demonstration of the screen without the Fresno lens on top. You can see on the top left you have a signal indicator which I have no, you have no idea if it's working. I don't think it's working, it's just probably for demonstration. and. You, have, you can see the channel that uh, the goggles are locked on and you have on the top right battery status which is very useful. Now this is the more important uh, experiment. We're gonna see how it performs outdoors. You can see I have it here on a tripod. So let's see how it's working.
The reception is pretty good. We have reached about 250 meters without any signal problems. And what I do recommend is to change the antenna and for that you're going to need to buy an adapter. If you're looking for goggles that cost under $100, these are the goggles for you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.